we will again revise the formula for the compound interest. We have amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 upon N and compound interest is equal to P whole bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N minus 1 bracket closed. Here again A is the total amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per conversion period. N is the number of conversion periods, the total number of conversion periods. Now we have a few other things that we need to remember in order to solve questions for compound interest. Now if we have different rate of interest per, for successive fixed periods as R1, R2, R3, R4, if we have different rate of interests, for example, the rate of interest for first year is 10%, for the second year is 8%, for the third year is 6%. Well, how do we do it then? Then the total amount is equal to P into 1 plus R1 upon 100, 1 plus R2 upon 100 into 1 plus R3 upon 100 and so on. Now we also need to remember that the compound interest and the simple interest for, are equal for the first conversion period provided that the rate of interest is equal. Now the compound interest and the simple interest will be equal for the first conversion period only. We need to remember this. And again, this, the compound interest for the nth period is always more than the compound interest for the n minus 1th conversion period. It means that the compound interest for the third year will always be greater than the compound interest for the second year. The compound interest for the fifth year will always be greater than the compound interest for fourth year and so on. The compound interest for nth year, nth conversion period is always greater than the compound interest for n minus 1th conversion period. Now the compound interest after nth conversion period is equal to how do we calculate the compound interest for nth period. Supposedly you are asked to calculate the compound interest only and only for 5 years. If we are asked about uh, the compound interest after 5 years, we calculate it with this formula. After 5 years, how much is the compound interest? Now supposedly we are asked about the compound interest for 5th year specifically. How do we do it then? We all know that the interest is equal to the amount minus the principal. What will be the amount for the fifth year only? It will be the, for, for, sorry, I'm sorry. What will be the principal for the fifth year? It will be the amount after four years, right? So we have amount after fifth year minus the principal before fifth year. We have the amount after the nth conversion period minus the amount after the n minus one conversion period. The amount for after the n minus one conversion period is also the is also the principal for the nth conversion period. The amount after the n minus 1th conversion period is also equally equal to the principal for the nth conversion period. We've done this in earlier classes. Now, if we have to calculate the compound interest for the nth conversion period, how do we do it? We do it by the amount after the nth conversion period minus the principal for that nth conversion period. That, give, that will give us the interest for that period only. So the amount after nth conversion period minus the principal for the nth conversion period. That is also equal to the amount after the n minus 1th conversion period.